So this is Paul. And I'm Jack. And we're mechanics here at Recumbent PDX. We just finished building what I like to refer to as a Catrike Dumont with everything. This is the Catrike Dumont, which is their full suspension model, with the Bosch ECAT system added onto it. Yeah, so my process or my job in this build was to build the rear wheel on this. Uh, we got our roll off speed hub and uh, laced it up, installed the uh, electronic shifting unit to it. Back here on the rear, um, we did have to do some measuring and spacing per roll off's instructions enabled in order to get it to uh, fit on these through axles. Um, we also tossed a Schwalbe Big Apple Plus in the rear to match up with the uh, Schwalbe Big Benz up front to give it a nice cushy ride along with the uh, Catrike Dumont suspension system. The roll-off speed hub is an internally geared 14-speed hub uh, that could be used with a uh, twist grip shifter or like we have installed here an electronic uh, shifter that will shift on its own, or you can sh shift electronically. So in order to build this wheel, um, after taking measurements per roll-offs instructions on these dropouts, uh, you get your rim, ensure that you have a uh, correct hub drilling to rim drilling spoke count, um, measure the inner diameter of the rim to the hub flange, um, cut and thread our spokes, prep them, lace them up, and that was my job. Yeah, so to speed up the uh, assembly, uh, we worked together, Jack building the wheel, and I mounted the rest of the accessories and did all the wiring. Uh, to run the E14 with the uh, Bosch system, there are uh, modifications that have to be done to the wiring harness. Um, we have the integrated headlight taillight that runs off of the Bosch battery and is controlled off of the uh, Bosch uh, control here, the Nyon control head. So you can turn the headlights on and off uh, just by pressing a button here on the display. Um, you've got uh, uh, mirrors on both sides. He's got a, uh, a phone mount mounted on the right-hand side, um, and all the mounting accessories come, up, come from our friends over at TerraCycle here in town uh, that make all the best components, including also uh, the stand-up aids, which make it easy for those of us that aren't young to, uh, to get up and down off of the trike. Um, we've mounted a T-bracket on the front to mount the front headlight and also so that he can mount a, uh, a GoPro on the front so we can film where he's going. Um, and on the back, uh, on the back rack, we've got the, uh, there's an extra bracket that sticks out beyond back there and that's so he can mount his radar unit on it, which alerts him when cars are coming up behind him. Uh, so the suspension on the Dumont is done with the uh, RockShox um, air suspension unit back here. And the cat trike velocimeter blocks on the front of the trike to cushion out the uh, rider's experience um, when riding on uneven terrain and uh, kind of dials out any sort of road buzz, any sort of rocky terrain that they're riding on. Just gives it a little bit more of a uh, smoother ride. One of the other things that we put on this is a uh, MTX quick, the uh, bag and rear rack are from a company called Topeak. Um, this bag can, you know, slides onto a rail on the rack, so it just, you know, slides right on, locks in place. And also has a unique feature in the fact that whereas it's just a normal top mount bag, if you undo the side, this pocket actually extends out and becomes a rear pannier, so you can run panniers on both sides. Or when you're not using them, it just folds up out of the way. And we also have on his trike a uh, Topeak, what is normally considered a handlebar bag that we've mounted with TerraCycle's side mount kit. 
so that you have what is a normal handlebar bag with your goodies that mounts right on the side of the trike so everything is within reach. You can have your uh, snacks, uh, phone if you don't have a phone holder like he has, um, and basically all your stuff is right there where you can pick up your camera out of the bag and take pictures. Or maybe grab a snack for Milo. Right? Milo likes snacks. So the standard uh, Catrike Eat Cat kit comes with the motor and then comes with a small display called the Perion. Uh, the Perion display is very basic, just gives you what your speed is, how far you've ridden, and allows you to change levels. Um, we've upgraded to the Nyon display from Bosch. It is a much bigger display, it is a color display, and you can, it's also a touch screen. Okay, so on the screens, the main screen shows you uh, what level you're at and how much battery you have and what gear your roll-off shifter is in. So right now it says I'm in six of 14. So when you're in eco mode, the screen is in green. When I move it up to tour, it turns to blue. Sport goes to purple. And of course, your most assist is turbo, and of course, that's got to be red. Red is the fastest color. The other things that on this screen will tell you how, approximately how much range is left on the battery in whatever level you're at. So in red, it's showing that I've got 32 miles left of battery approximately. But if I move it all the way back down to green for eco mode, it says that I've got 85 miles of range on this on 97 percent of the battery charge the next screen when you scroll over which you can do with the touch screen or on the buttons here is you can actually swipe over the next screen gives you your main information page which is show you your trip distance how much time you've been riding what your average speed is and will actually tell you what your altitude is so the next screen after that will actually tell you where you're at it's the gps page and It'll actually show where you are, the blue dot on the screen, which right now it's you know, showing our neighborhood here in downtown Portland. And as you're riding, you can also set a feature onto this to mark where home is. And it'll actually plan you the fastest route to get back home. The next screen after that is, gives you your more information. It'll tell you how much you've been using in whatever gear that you've been riding in. So on the top up here, it shows that I'm in eco mode and most of the riding that I've been doing is in eco mode is only 5% of my riding today has been in eco mode. If I move it up to uh, my next level, up to tour, it says that I've been doing 62% of my riding today in eco mode. My max speed was 7.9 and it's showing that I've been doing 50% of the work and the engine's been doing only 44% of the work which is kind of a nice handy feature. It shows you how much time, how much work you're doing versus if you're just relying on the motor to do all the riding. So it's good for training purposes. The screen after that, again, is more of an information page telling you if you're hooked to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you can change how the screens are set up. You can change the brightness. And this is also where you go to for other settings, like setting your home gear. The home gear is an interesting feature because what you can do is you can set what is your start gear. So when you start at a stoplight, you normally start in gear five, say. If you've been riding along and you're you know, screaming down the street and the light turns red and you come to a stop and you're in like 11th or 12th, it'll automatically downshift when it notices that you've been sitting for a while. You'll hear the little gear drive on the e-assist drop down and go and it'll drop down to five. And that'll give you your start gear every time. Well, the noise you'll hear when it's shifting gears is right like this. How about if, you if you just hold down the button, it'll run three at a time until it gets up to 14. Huh. So right now it's in 14th. If I just hold down the button, I'm already back to first gear or you can you know, shift it one at a time. But if you hold it down, it'll jump multiple gears at a time.
which is great if all of a sudden you, you crest the top of the hill and you start down and you want to go fast, you can just hold it down and jump all the way up to top gear. So the gear shifting is done by the switch that we mounted on the right hand side, very easy to reach as you're riding along. Just hit it with your thumb on the bottom to downshift or on the upper button to upshift. They're actually nicely marked with a plus and a minus. When shifting gears, the roll-off communicates with the Bosch system to back off the motor just a bit to allow that there's no strain on the gear as it's trying to switch from you know, one gear to the next. Sure. Leave that in. <laughs>